So I'm here with Joe and Juan, and they've just worked on a film clip called Cuando Rias for the Colombian band Sismo. Thanks for being with us, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. So how did you guys get into animation? Uh, we've always been interested in animation. So we met studying at RMIT, doing an animation course, a master's course, mm -hmm. and just rolled on from there. And how did you get involved with the band, and how did the project actually come about? Well, it was basically a, a repayment. Uh, they did the music for my major project at uni, and they asked a few months later, uh, can you do something for us as well? The music video itself has got a really hand-drawn kind of appeal. And was that something that you deliberately set out to do? It was a, a little bit hard because going from, from pencil and paper to, to a computer, uh, it takes a little bit to get used to. The computer tends to fix all the lines that you draw a lot, so it's a little bit harder, but once you get used to that first initial stage, it's uh, pretty straightforward. And what was probably the most arduous or difficult part of the whole project? Probably cleaning up the drawings after you've done. So the way we animate is we make the roughs say of the character, so there's squiggly lines and then we have to clean it up and make clean lines and colour and feel, so that's more the... And if, if you know more or less the process of animation is like hundreds and hundreds of frames, so the, the basic animation is just all roughed up at, at the beginning, so uh, just cleaning up and then colouring is, uh, takes a lot of labour and a lot of work. And is there an element of the final product that you're most proud of? Um, I think the best part about it is seeing that what we, the idea that we had in the beginning was we pretty much stuck through it all the way until the end, so that was pretty rewarding. Yeah, good animation, it's, uh, you plan everything at the beginning and then uh, seeing the end result just very close to what you plan at the beginning is uh, it's really good. Did you hand draw any of the characters on paper beforehand? Uh, not really, everything was done straight into a computer. Oh, we did like character designs on paper first. Did, did we? we? We didn't? No, I don't think so. Yeah, you scratch that one. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the software that you used to actually put it all together finally? To edit it together was uh, Adobe Premiere, which yeah. is an editing software. But we tend to use a lot of softwares actually. Yeah. Like it's a mix of everything. So I can be drawing in Flash and then taking it to After Effects and then seeing something in After Effects and bring it back to Flash and do something else. And so we don't like to be constrained by the software. Yeah, and although it was an independent film and it was a favour and it probably didn't have much of a budget, has it given you any work since? It actually has. Yeah. And, uh, a few people saw it here in Australia and, and well, they asked us to, to work on a documentary that they were making about uh, West Papua. And that documentary had some, some bits that they wanted to be animated. So, so we worked for them for almost a year. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so, so yeah, it was good. And, and that has led to our, to our works as well. Will you take us through a part of the clip, a scene, and how that came together? Uh, well, the first thing that we did was uh, an animatic, and just basically is we have the, we have the music in, in a software called Flash and we just draw very roughly uh, the scenes and we time it accordingly to the music. As you can see here, the character is, is flying through the, through the screen, but it's really rough, it's just uh, to give us a guide. After that, after we have that, that file, we just basically start uh, doing the rough animation, which is, as you can see, just like uh, a sketch of the animation. But yeah, I guess this is the, the most fun part because this is when you you let yourself go and you uh, basically animate everything. So yeah. after after we have the rough animation, we have to clean it up. So that takes, it's, it's not hard because you have the, the rough animation as a base, but it takes a lot of time and, and effort just making sure that the lines are clean and look nice and the character looks like what you uh, plan at the beginning. So after you, you have the, the lines of the animation cleaned up, you just have to color them in. And well, that's basically uh, a lot easier because the software helps you a lot. But you have to go frame by frame as well and color everything, which takes time as well. And after that, you just uh, put them all together in a software called After Effects. 
So there's a very distinctive animation style and kind of colour scheme to this music video. What were the influences for this project and, and what kind of elements do you think they've influenced most? Um, I think the animations that actually inspire us are the more natural looking ones, like Spirited Away, and there's also the hand-drawn qualities of um, the work of Studio 4C, which I don't think many people have heard of, like Mind Game and Tech on Kingcrete. And like we enjoy like The Simpsons and Family Guy and whatnot, but they don't really inspire us to create animation. So I think the things that inspired us are the ones that would influence our work more. It's a visually spectacular music video. Is it the kind of work that you think you'll be doing in the future or where do you want to head with your animation? Um, I think we're quite happy doing the more short form kind of animations and stuff that's more personal than if we're working in a massive studio just being like a monkey under other five levels of other people. So. Yeah, we just uh, basically want to keep it as independent as we can and hopefully we can uh, get some money from the Australian government and just uh, make some some short films in the near future. Beautiful. Well, I hope you do. I look forward to seeing what you come up with next. This has been fantastic. Really appreciate you showing us everything today. And I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you, Thank you so much.